Hi, Mark Warnke here, packouts.com. One of the things that when you're trying to grow up babies is absolutely imperative. One of the biggest things that you're going to do to make sure that they're healthy and they're big is controlling coccidia. People have no clue how huge and impactful coccidia is. It's a protozoa and when it gets, when it finally displays as diarrhea, that's really late in that process. So when you're trying to treat it, it's, it's really late. It means you already have the attack of the, of the intestinal walls. They do permanent damage and scar tissue. They can absorb nutrients as well. One of the signs of a coccidia baby is a rough coat and, and, and a big pot belly a lot of times. They're never quite as healthy as they could be. The goal is to have coccidia never appear because you're always controlling it through a preventative. The problem is, is there's not a lot of good solutions for goats in that. We use a thing called Calf Pro in the bottles, but again, that's for cows. So it works for us because we feed a lot of babies and we can do a little squirt in a big bucket and it works good, but it's a big expensive amount. The other one that a lot of people will use is Corid, and I just heavily recommend that you do not. Um, it is super toxic on them. It can give them neurologic disorders. It can make them have goat polio. It, dis it, it depletes the amount of thiamine. It's a risky thing to treat a goat with. The two that I've found the most effective, and you need to understand, this is not vet recommended. It's, it's not cleared through the organizing bodies uh on behalf of goats is they haven't studied the impact of tolterazole on them it's only been studied in horses but those of us who run goats we use baycox or tolterazole very successfully within our goats the problem with using it is that it's expensive because it's always in really big amounts. So what we've done is we've made it available to you in a smaller amount. And so we, we, we got a size that works for people with smaller herds that are raising up a few babies every year. And it is so imperative that if you're raising goats to be full health and full size that you treat for coccidia that's recommended by other sites that it's it's it there's lots of the goat community out there using it and talking about it it's recommended to be given at three weeks 60 days and 90 days and then once again at six months if you test for it and it's still present i've had great luck with it on my farm you can get this on packgoats.com um, i hope you find this helpful and i hope that you take me seriously it is one of the biggest mistakes i see people make they buy good genetics they feed good nutrition but they don't take care of coccidia and if you don't do that you're not going to grow your best goat so i hope you find that helpful